While things are going really well these days, I think it's always important to remember that uh, when you're creating a company, there are very dark times. And it's about getting through those, those dark times. Um, that that's the difference uh, between success and failure. Really focus on making a product that your customers love. And it, it's so rare that you can buy a product and, and you love the product when you, when you bought it. The, this is, this is, there are very few uh, things that fit into that category. And if you, if you can come up with something like that, your, your business will be successful for sure. The thing about being an entrepreneur is there's, it's just all to you. You know, a lot of people like to make excuses. I don't have connections. I don't have money. I don't have this. But, you know, if, if you find something that you like to do or love to do, be great at it and see if you can turn it into a business. And worst case, you're going to have fun doing what it is you love to do. And best case, you can turn it into a business. I, I'm just not big on excuses. I just think if you really, you, everybody has that opportunity to go for it. They just got to do it. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, the Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg, I know all of them. I would have liked to share with you that those people, the difference between those people and other people, they are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of the others. Where is the opportunity? The opportunity li always lies in the place where people complain. Some people sit there complain, you think, mm, if I can solve that complaint, that's the opportunity. He sat me down, he said, look, I've got this idea where I think we can listen to Indiana basketball, sporting events, you know, anywhere in the world by using the internet. Starting a business without any financial backing um, it's, it's, it's easy to slip the wrong side and, and in fact you know, most entrepreneurs do, do slip the wrong side and um, the, important, the important thing is then just to you know, pick yourself up um, and you know, start again and if, if, if it doesn't work at that time it, keep, keep going until you do succeed um, and, and not to give up. You know, there is, there's a very thin dividing line between success and failure when you start a business from scratch. You know, if you don't have enough money to pay the bills, you go the wrong side of that dividing line. And if you can somehow get enough money to pay the bills, uh, you stay the right side of that dividing line. You've got a phenomenal opportunity. And every single one of you can have a life and have a great life, and have money, and have a privileged future. The only person stopping you is you. You make your own luck in life every, every time, and every entrepreneur makes their own luck. And I don't know anyone who started out as a businessman and not had a bit of good luck and a bit of bad luck. If you're going to start a company, it takes so much energy that you know you get better overcome your your feeling of risk. If if you do the work, if you do the preparation, you'll know when it's time. And it doesn't mean that it won't be a little bit scary, but you know it, it's you'll know.